Hi everyone, it's Lulu and today I'm here to show you how I created this 360 closure wig with hair from omgqueen.com and this is what the box looks like. You actually have a lot of goodies in here starting with a pack that just has everything you need to make a wig as well as the hair itself. I have 22 inches of hair, 20 inches of hair as well and the hair is kinky straight hair and the closure of course which is 16 inches long and this is what the texture looks like you've got some layering just a little bit around the edges I know it's sideways on the mannequin but you have three combs in the front and of course adjustable straps in the back as well as one comb to secure it Since the company provided a wig cap, this is the one that I'll be using. I don't know what brand it is, but stick it on the styrofoam head and go ahead and put some pins in it so that it is secured according to your cap size. So this head is actually the accurate size for my head, so that's what I'm using. In addition to the wig cap, you also have some other goodies in the wig making kit. These include two needles that are wrapped in gold foil. And they are very flexible, surprisingly. You can actually alter their shapes. You also have four combs, just in case you need more combs. And you also have some thread in there. Now I'm going to stick my closure onto my wig cap and make sure it actually covers it perfectly so that way I have the accurate measurement for my head. Go ahead and pin it down. Go over the flaps, pin down the closure, go to the back and once you're done with all of that you also want to pin down the interior part of the closure so that way it's really not going anywhere. Next you want to thread the needle because you're about to secure the 360 closure onto the wig cap. Just so the way you know how, I did like a back stitch when I was sewing because it just seems more secure for me and I can go in a line when I do that. Whatever is most comfortable for you, definitely sew that way. I don't think it really matters as long as it's secure and your stitches aren't that messy. And what you also want to do is you want to fortify it by doing this twice. Here's the easy part. We're going to start sewing the hair starting with a 22 inch bundle. And just sew and wrap the thread around your needle then pull through. That's what I do to just really fortify the hair. Make sure it's not going anywhere and it stays literally in its lane. Because if you sew anyhow sometimes the hair will just travel according to where your thread enters and where it exits whereas if you try to sew it like it's in a cage it's not really gonna move that far the weft won't move that far and it's easier to sew in a nice smooth straight line make sure you use the pins as your guide when you overlap it makes it so much easier when you pin your hair down and then you sew in between because you will be able to sew in a straight line and not have gaps. So we're going to continue sewing our hair using the same method. Of course, if you have a better method to sew, please feel free to sew the way you know how, whatever is easiest for you. Just try to make sure it's as secure as possible. I only used about one and a half bundles of hair in the weave so I had some leftover hair you will not need more than two bundles and I had 20 and 22 inches yes it is very full in there so do not get more than two bundles unless you have like 30 inch hair I guess and now that we are done we just knot the last part and cut the thread remove every single one of your pins it's time to take them all out Next you're going to cut anything that's covering the lace from the wig cap. The only part of the wig cap that should show is the part that is not covering lace. And there you go. There's your 360 closure and a little piece of the wig cap. Wherever you want your part to be, go ahead and pluck your hair there. As you can see, it's pretty nicely spaced out. The lace isn't too dense. So even if you don't pluck your hair, you could probably get away with not plucking it because the lace is actually 
very natural looking. The distribution of the hair is really awesome. And this is what my part is looking like. I don't have to do the hairline because it's already pre-plucked. There's a lot I really don't have to do, but I went ahead and just plucked a little bit more, you know, just because. Not like I needed to, but I just went ahead and did it anyway. Just a little bit. And so we're gonna put our wig on just to see if it fits, okay? Because I did do this on a mannequin. It fit, so we're gonna cut the lace. Make sure you try to cut as close to the hairline as possible. You don't want any additional lace just hanging out there because it's so much harder to conceal, at least from my experience it is. And take your time cutting. You don't wanna cut your hair or just mess up in general. It's really not something you should rush with. We are going to apply the hair again and just use the combs to secure the wig on before we really work on it. One comb in the front and then the two on the side. So it looks pretty good right now, not having any glue or anything on it. I'm using my Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel, the black one and just put a little bit on. I was very heavy handed with the gel. I don't know why I felt like I had to be, but yes, I went ahead and put it on and after applying it on the hairline, just go ahead and grab a blow dryer, use the cool setting and blow dry your hair. You can use heat, but after a while it's gonna feel like it's burning your skin. I also used the Got To Be Glued Freeze Spray, sprayed that on the hairline as well, and then started just, you know, sticking the lace closure on and checking for parts, like where did my part go that I pre-plucked. Also I did the sides, just kind of press on the sides, press down, try to do your best, it's still kind of sticky, it's a very sticky situation and I did pull the hair down to just help with tension like tension is everything so blow dry your hair tension it press down add some more spray <laughs> it's a process you know just like you do a lot and I'm still getting the hang of it I haven't yet mastered it but once I do I definitely will do a full detailed tutorial guide your hair especially whatever little hair you have left out because your hairline isn't gonna perfectly match your wig's hairline that's just like impossible so I parted my hair and just went searching for my little curved part part from the back going forward part from the front going backward and you get a nice little curve there my part looks good but I just add some pressed powder so it looks less like lace and more natural especially in photos and just rub a little bit to make sure it's not like all over the place. Then make sure that the pressed powder goes all the way to your forehead when you're applying it. So at least it, you know, kind of goes with your makeup. And this is what the side looks like. I also used a straightening comb and I'll have all the details about this in my description box. I just used it to get the ripples out of the kinky straight hair so that way it would look uniform and even from root to tip. So that's pretty much it for my video. I was definitely heavy handed on the gel. I will do better in the future but for now the 360 closure is definitely a challenge for me and when I finally figure out all the ins and outs I'll come back to you and show you how to perfect the closure. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!